Hey guys, welcome back to New York Sports MC. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the page, hit the bell, get the notifications so you can see all the videos coming out. But I wanted to hop into Joe Douglas's recent signing as he got former Indianapolis Colts corner Pierre Desir on a one-year deal. And I just want to start by saying this is the exact deal I thought he was going to have to do for a corner. I did not want him to spend um, big on the corners. I did put one-time big purchase uh, at corner on one of my mock-off seasons, but I was just trying to do a few different scenarios. Uh, with everything we went through recently with Tremaine Johnson, and even when we brought back Revis that second time, we've just been burned recently with these big money corners. So I'm glad that we're going this one year route. It's what he's doing with a lot of these ads that he's got this year. Um, these three year deals that there, a lot of them are really one year deals that we can keep them for the two more because most of the guaranteed money is right up front, which is great because when you're rebuilding this team, we're not one piece away where we can go out and spend big money on Bradbury or any of these guys, right? Conklin, any, you know, we need to build this whole team. So we need flexibility moving forward. And that's what Joe Douglas has done this whole offseason. Whether it be players that he's bringing in have position flexibility. Or contracts that just have flexibility to get out if we need to. Or keep them if they exceed. So this one obviously doesn't have an option for us to keep them. As it is only a one year deal. But you still have them in the building. It's like when we brought in Claiborne in the one year deal. He's in the building. He's getting used to the team, the players. We can see if he fits the system well um, in actual games when it matters. And then we have that time and that familiarity with him to try to bring him on and keep him on uh, past this year if it works out. So definitely something that I was interested in. Um, as last year was a kind of a rocky year for him. Didn't really grade out well if you look on PFF. Uh, allowed us almost 65% completion percentage on passes thrown his way. Uh, was banged up a little bit with injuries. Played 12 games last year. But the year before, he had a very, very solid year. Um... If I remember correctly, it was like mid-70s or so on PFF. The big thing, though, too, and this is something that Greg Williams is going to absolutely love. He is a very talented and very willing tackler and in, in the running game, and he's very good at playing the run game. And that's something that Greg Williams really likes. He wants his corners to be able to make those tackles and come up and make those hits. He likes to blitz a lot. Sometimes when you're blitzing, if, the, if that guy doesn't keep contain on the edge and he gets out there, you need those corners to make those tackles. Because if they don't make the tackle, it's going to be a big, big play. So Greg Williams is going to love Pierre this year. Uh, and it's, it's one of those things, too, where if he's riddled with injuries again this year, it's a one-year deal. No commitment pass this year. So I really like it. I think now at the cornerback position, I really don't see them bringing in anybody else besides maybe a mid-round draft pick. I know you guys know that I've been on the Damon Arnett in the third round. If he falls that far, I've even seen, it's crazy. I've seen him as early as the late first round to the third round. So I have no idea where he's going to go, um, especially with the way this offseason has gone with the whole coronavirus. Now there was no pro days. There was no visits to teams. It's going to be different. It's harder to gauge where some of these guys are going to go that aren't like surefire, um, top of the first round kind of guys. So that's it. I mean, we have this year now. We brought back Poole. We brought back, um, oh, I can't remember his name now. The other corner from last year that we had, Mollett. There we go. Brought back Mollett. So I think what you're going to do, we still have Bless on Austin. So you're going to have all these guys kind of competing for those first two spots with obviously Poole the starting slot corner. You draft a guy, maybe he kind of like waits in the wings and learns from Pierre Desir and Poole and all these guys that have been around and maybe can take over after next year if Desir doesn't come back. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like this? Do you want them to still bring in more people at the cornerback position? Like I said, I think we're done now. Um, and as always, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and jet up, baby.